previous video we have stopped at the time of secondary motion through the jiggles then in this video I have just updated with the jiggle settings and just have a look it has a good start with the anticipation and you can see when it settles it has a nice follow through on the muscles but there is no effect on the tightness of the muscles whenever the muscle gets smaller there is no tightness these things can be fixed through this flex settings these two muscles has a default settings since there is no effect when it flexes so let's work on the muscle 3 of this tricep muscle I had set some values for the contraction when the muscle gets contracts means when it gets smaller and everything the straightening everything I had set but all this gets affect when this tension value applies from 0 to 1 so whenever it flakes means these two bones comes closer this clavicle and the upper arm comes closer obviously the muscle gets smaller so that time this tension values gets update from 0 to 1 so to automate this value I would be going with the help of those two bones where I need to find the angle between these two bones which means chain bone 1 and chain bone 2 see whenever these two bones comes closer need to find the value so that angle so that angle feeds into this tension values to do that let's go to the talk and type the bone angle you will find the function of the bone angle so to find the bone angle need that expression bone angle it retains the angle of the joint between two bone objects here bone 1 bone 2 which is nothing but the chain underscore bone 1 and chain underscore bone 2 so let me type that expression over here bone angle of chain bone 1 and chain bone 2 yeah you can see the effect on this it's working means you can see the bone angle values in the tension parameters uh, when when the muscle gets contracts around the value 125 and then when it stretches the angle is around 130s so we are going to range between this 125 and 130 so when it comes to 130 it has to be the value has to be 0 and when it comes to 125 the tension value has to be 1 so we are going to use this bone angle and going to fit those between 125 and 130 with the tension parameter of 1 and 0 let's do it So I'm going to type fit then the angles of bone chain bone one and chain bone two 
the range is about uh, say suppose we can type as 124 and 132 when it reaches 124 means when it contracts then the tension value has to be 1 and when it reaches 132 the tension value has to be 0 which is there is no tension oh wait did some mistake yeah over here need a comma mm, okay let me update the timeline you can see the values over here see so whenever it contracts with the help of these contraction values and tightness and everything the tension value is also getting automated with the help of bone angles now I have updated the tension parameters for the remaining muscles of muscle rig 3, muscle rig 4, rig 5, 6, everything. So you can see the variations over here from the different bone angles. Okay, and you can even animate the muscle rig handles to avoid the penetrations between the muscles. And while settling, also we can see those variations well. and have updated the parameters for all those contractions concentric scale those tightness everything affects those tension values by automating with the bone angle okay just try with these settings let's have a small recap now now here what's happening the anatomical geometry bones drives the muscles and the muscle has its own properties which has jiggles flex all those deforms these muscles okay and these informations collides with the tissue this is our tissue which we would be seeing in the tissue system on the next video. Thank you.